Reach Monday, July 31st. I want to welcome everybody to the SoFlo Real Estate Show with Athena. So, are you struggling with the interest rate that is available today? Is the interest rate holding you back from buying the home that you really want to buy? Well, on today's show, we will be discussing mortgage discount points and how they will be able to hopefully help you as a buyer not only lower the cost of your loan, but lower your monthly interest rates and also be able to buy the home that you really want to buy. My name is Athena Chalikas Barocas. I'm the creator and host of the show, but I'm also a top producer and award-winning realtor with Coldwell Banker here in sunny South Florida. So by the way, if you know anybody who's struggling with the interest rate and buying a home, this could be a very good video to share. So I'd like to get to it. I'd like to welcome my guest, Julie Dinda of Radius Financial Group. Julie, welcome aboard. Good to have you here. Thank you. Excited to talk about this fun outside the box topic as well. Always a pleasure. It's great to have you here. You know, we go back about what, three, four or five years ago, money was free, it was free for a year before that. The notion of how to make the discount, make the mortgage payment more affordable and bringing out discount points again as a topic. It's such a great timing for, you know, for our listeners today. It really is. Yeah. Excited to be here. Thanks. Good. So, you know, what we're going to talk about today is the mortgage discount points that permanently lower the interest rate and your monthly payment on the long run. Uh, we are not going to be talking about what you're hearing out there in the media about the temporary die down. If you hear temporary buy down, you contact me, you contact Julie, and we talk about permanently buying down that rate. So today I want to start off, Julie, by what is the definition of a mortgage discount point? So mortgage points, uh, which are which are actually also known as points or discount points, are a way to lower or buy down the interest rate on your mortgage. So they're an upfront payment um, that's made to the lender at the time of you closing your mortgage. Okay, so it's an upfront cost and we're doing is we're buying down the rate. Correct. All right. Well, you know, it sounds simple, but it's not as simple. And we're going to go into why it's not simple, but we really want you to be able to take away what the program is, how it works, and whether or not it pertains to you. And if you think it does, we want you to contact us so we can go into it very specifically based on your own personal profile and what you have to be able to, what you have in your profile to qualify for a loan isn't that correct julie not everybody qualifies the same way correct exactly there's so many moving parts there is so we understand now that it's a buy down program an upfront cost and that's what the consumer walks away with but from a lender's perspective tell us about the complexity of a discount program Sure. So when you when you take out a mortgage uh, to buy a home, uh, you're actually borrowing money from the lender uh, to finance the purchase. And the mortgage is, is typically paid off in 15 or 30 years um, through regular monthly payments, which is what uh, Athena is trying to underline is 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 having it be the same and not fluctuate or change um, at all. So to reduce the interest rate on your mortgage, you can purchase and apply discount points. One discount point costs 1% of the loan amount and will reduce that mortgage rate by about a quarter of a point. Uh, keep in mind the reduction is, you know, obviously can vary. Um, but it, but but typically, typically you're going to, um, typically how mortgage points work are a couple of different things. So there's interest rate reduction. Um, so when you pay points, uh, your lender will offer you an interest rate on your mortgage um, that you can buy with the points. Um, that upfront cost is essentially how, how you would do it. So an upfront cost is the points that represent an upfront cost to you to pay that, that in addition to your down payment. Um, then you have what's called a break even analysis. So that that kind of is used to determine if paying those points is beneficial to you. Um, this is the point where which the savings from the lower monthly payments offset that first upfront cost. Um, okay. Your second. 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, no. So I just wanted to stop there for a quick second and talk sure. about break-even analysis. I know it's very complex, but I don't want our listeners to not focus here for just a hot minute. And I know you have an example later on for us. Yeah. But the break-even analysis is an important piece that a lender will consider as far as you know, making sure that you as a buyer understand the ramifications of buying a discount point. And so when we talk about break-even analysis, even as a realtor, my first question is, how long do you plan on living in this house? You know, if somebody is relocating and they're not sure they're going to be there for five years, you know, the break-even analysis may not be favorable. If someone tells me, Athena, we're going to raise our family here. We're going to live here. We're going to retire here. We have 10, 15, 20 years you know what, you might be a better candidate for that discount point program. So, you know, the discount points and the break even analysis really is an important piece to the overall consideration of whether or not this is a program you want to look at. Exactly. So Julie, go right back to you. I just wanted to, you know, intervene for a quick hot no, moment there. No, and that's, and that's a very good point. So the, the best way to kind of explain it is let's say you're going to purchase a $200,000 house and, and you use the, the breakdown, like we had talked about before you pay the $2,000 to buy it down that, that quarter of a percent. Let's say they give you a 4.5 interest rate. So your payment's going to be about 11, you know, maybe like a thousand thirteen dollars something like that. So now if you pay that 2000 and to buy it down, now you're at 4.25 and your payments jump down to $985 a month. So what we would do is we would calculate that. So essentially we would take the amount of money that you would have paid without the points, the 1,013, subtract that um, by the you know 985. So you're about $29 a month is gonna be the difference in your monthly payment. So what I would do is I would take that 2000, divide it by the $29 and it comes out to 69 months. So in 69 months, you're actually gonna break even um, and you're gonna be starting to take advantage of that $29 every single month for the rest of the loan. So it's gonna be about what, that's about five years and maybe six months um, to, to do that. So if you're gonna be staying in the property for 10 years, it's going to definitely make sense for you to buy down that rate so that you can, you know, gain the benefits of those next five years um, from for buying it down. Okay, so that makes perfect sense. So that break even analysis is something that you really want to talk to your client about as well to verify whether or not, you know, paying the mortgage interest up front makes sense. Yeah, it's that break even point that helps you decide if it's worth it or not worth it for you to do it. And then you had some other ideas, the tax deductible. Is more, are mortgage interest points um, tax deductible? Yeah, on that first year, um, you can deduct your points. Um, you know, obviously you want to talk to your tax, you know, specialist. <laughs> um, you have your long-term savings. Um, so while you're paying, while, while paying points um, will require you to pay more money up front, it can actually lead to substantial savings through the life of the loan with that interest, that lower interest rate. Um, your monthly mortgage payments obviously will be reduced and you'll en end up paying that that less interest over the years. So are points worth it? I mean, should all buyers think about whether or not you should be look at a loan with points? You should, no matter what, you always should look at it. Whether it makes sense or not, that's something that we'll discuss. You know, there's so many, there's so many factors that come into um, whether you should use it or not. One is, you know, sometimes I'll have a borrower that'll come up like, you know, last week we actually had a borrower that came to us that said, hey, I got 20% to put down on the house. I'm, you know, I'm excited about that. We were able to have him pay 15% down, still get a great rate. He bought down the points. Um and got an even lower rate. And then um, his mortgage insurance was so insignificant. It was like $12 a month, um, which he was only going to be paying for the next two years because after you're, you've paid 18%, it, it essentially will just you know fall off as long as you've made great payments. Um, so at the end of the day, um, you know, there's so many different creative ways that you can work around it that if it does make sense, you should definitely do it. 
That makes, yeah, that's a good point. What about other types of loans? What about VA loans or FHA loans? Are they able to take advantage of discount points if it makes yeah, sense as well? They they will. Um, sometimes you tend to see, you know, sometimes you'll actually see better rates on like a VA or an FHA as far as buying the points down goes um, because your your rate's already at a good, good solid spot. So putting that a little extra money in, you know, it will benefit you. Absolutely. Okay, so all types of loans can be considered for the program. Correct. Okay, 15 year, 30 year, 30 year. VA, yeah, FHA. you can, yeah, yeah, anything you can think of, we can give you a discount point for. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know what? There's one thing I do want to talk about, and that is when buyers are out there shopping. Um, they need to be able to understand what those rates are when they see them all over the social media, when they see them advertised on TV. There is always the asterisk, asterisk, asterisk on the bottom about how it's 4.6%, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. They don't understand that that asterisk, asterisk, asterisk means that the discount points of some sort, some number, some quantity have already been calculated in in order to advertise this exceedingly low rate in the market. Julie, yeah, what's that saying? To this? Yes. What's that saying? It's too good to be true or yeah. what, you know, like whatever, whatever that saying is, um, you know, you always want to deep dive. You know, that's why getting getting a second opinion um, is always key for mortgages because you don't know. You know, we, we again, uh, you know, this week we actually have someone that just came over to us and they were like, oh, we're going to give you this great rate. And, you know, obviously I matched it, but then I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, that's because you're paying so much money in these fees there they told you that you're you know they they, they actually charged you for a discount point of six thousand dollars and then they gave you a credit of fifteen hundred it's like that's not paying for your discount points you know so you always gotta look at that that very small writing with the asterisk 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 on it for sure <laughs> It's true. You know, I was working with a buyer that came over with their pre-approval from another lender and, um, you know, it was, it was a good purchase. It was a good price. They were happy with their, you know, with their rate and so forth. And then they got their closing document. And even though the lender shared with them, you know, shared with the buyer really what the cost is, it's not conceivable until sometimes they see it in writing. In this case, it was almost $8,000 and they couldn't understand what happened. Where did that $8,000 come from? One of the best things I share with my clients, Julie, and I know you support it, is if you're going to shop for rates, if a consumer is going to shop for rates, they should shop without any discount points associated with that loan. And then determine which lender you want to work with. And then go back and say, how do the discount points apply? Because um, when you're shopping for rates, at least this is what I found. I'm going to ask you to speak to it in a minute, Julie. But what mm -hmm. I found through my um, buyers is, you know, what's the rate? Oh, it's 6.1. It's 5.9. It's 5.86. But what is the cost of that loan and what are the points that are applying? And when I ask this question, you know, deer in the headlights, they just don't understand what I just asked them. So yeah. Julie, can you take a deep dive into this for us? Yes, you always want to, when they give you that quote, you want the two, your annual percentage rate needs to be very, very close to what they're giving you as your percentage rate. Um, if not, that's where it's all hidden is that, that price of the loan, what's you're going to be, what you're going to be paying annually for that price of the loan. So typically if you get, you know, you'll see an interest rate that says 6.75 and then your APR is 6.99. Well, there's a little bit of fees that are, that are hidden in there. I've seen something as dramatic as your, 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 you know, your interest rate is 6%, 6.5% and your APR is 7.5. And that is a lot of points, a lot of fees and a lot of stuff that they're hiding in that loan to make it look like this nice, beautiful package when it's really not. So always look for, in addition to your interest rate, what your annual percentage rate is going to be. And if they're close, then you know that that they're they're taking a good good look at you and they're not taking advantage 
That's a good point. The APR, the annual, versus the interest rate. Which one is the one that's always being quoted on social media and in the news? Typically, it's your interest rate. I mean, you know, with the, with a lot of asterisks, because really you can't really, you know, you're not going to see it very often where, where an actual lender will will tell you what the rate is because there's so many things that, that we, we've talked about it before on the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's your, your credit score, if you're buying a condo, if you're, you know, if you have any late payments, if you're, you know, you're maxed out on your credit cards, like there's so many factors that come into play in your particular interest rate that's designed for you um, that it's hard to say, hey, I can get you 6.5%, come with me. You know, it's just... It's and that's why the, they try, they say it truth in advertising and they vary, they watch it like a hawk. So a lot of lenders, especially good lenders, will not even put any of that stuff out there. True. But we've seen it and we see it a lot. Oh, yeah. Our, and our customers, our buyers, both from your side and my side, come to me with these crazy numbers. And I'm like, what are the fees? You know, what's the true cost <laughs> exactly. of this loan? Because it's so far away. Um, yeah. Do lenders... So what would be your best advice when you're, you know, somebody wants to shop a rate? Because we know everybody's going to shop rates. What should they ask the lender in order to be able to say, this is the real rate, this is the real rate, this is the real rate? I mean, I think... I think where they, they hide a lot of the fees that they charge you is actually in the fees that we charge. So the origination fee, um, you know, we have we have one flat fee that we charge um, and it goes all the way done. But sometimes you'll see they charge fifteen hundred for an origination fee. Then they charge you seven hundred and fifty dollars for a processing fee. And then they charge you nine hundred dollars for uh, your underwriter fee. And, and And it's all of this kind of stuff. The less is more, what, you know, that mom used to always say that. <laughs> I don't know if your parents always said that less is more, <laughs> you know, it's like, tell me what you're going to charge me and stick to that. And don't add in all this other stuff everywhere. So, you know, but, but, you know, the best way to do it is just to, to look at apples and oranges, you know, just look, take the two of them together and see what makes the most sense. Another thing that you'll see that lenders do is they don't set realistic expectations for your insurance. And your taxes so that they you you see that first rate that or you know that first like i'm only paying twenty five hundred dollars a month this is great but you're buying uh you know a condo in you know south beach and your insurance is going to be you know 450 dollars a month but they put on it 250. so now once you go to closing now you're you're going to be paying an extra 250 dollars a month because we don't you know a, a lender doesn't determine what your insurance insurance is so they can easily say like oh well, we had no idea that your insurance was going to be that much and it's not on them but it really is on them you should know how much it's going to be and give them a realistic expectation so that they they're not sticker shocked while they're trying to sign at the closing table yeah so a lot of things come up in the closing documents that you know buyers need to be aware of and be able to check it but on the forefront Please, when you're out there shopping for rates, make sure you're asking the right questions. And maybe one of the questions is, does this rate you're offering me have a discount point associated with it? Right, Julie? Correct, correct. Or maybe more than one. Yeah, and I have a question for you. Look, now the host is turning it around. Now, what about, um, you know, seller? Can sellers pay discount points? Like, are you seeing that a lot? You know, they can. And I saw in the buyer's market. We are not in a buyer's market out here in South Florida. Everyone. We are in a <laughs> seller's market. So this will not pertain to you. Buyers are paying their own discount points. But you're right, Julie, in a, sell, in a buyer's market where, um, you know, sellers are just desperate to sell their home because there's just not enough buyers out there. Well, yes, the sellers would be able to pay the discount points. But again, not today. Yeah. And if you are doing that, you know, you're going to have you're going to have great real estate agents that are going to tell you up front what the what the market is and what's happening out there. And 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 she's educated clearly on that. And she is 100 percent correct. Um, so thanks for answering that. You're the best. Oh, thank you, Julia. Thanks for asking that great <laughs> question. Truly really appreciate it. So I think we covered discount points quite well. Um, you know, the key takeaway is, is that mortgage rates are not going to be going down anytime soon. And there are ways that, you know, working with a professional realtor, working with a professional lender, 
that we can talk about, you know, different programs that might work for you. And um, if you're shopping for rates, please make sure every lender you go to, ask them for the rate outside of any discount points being applied. Because one, you don't know if you qualify. And two, if you're trying to shop rate, shop the real rate. Um, Julie, you came out with some great information on to how permanently reduce the overall cost of the loan, reduce the monthly mortgage payment, and hopefully be able for our customers and our consumers out there to be able to buy the house that they really love. Any parting words, Julie? Um, yeah, I will say one more thing. A lot of people are afraid to shop their rate um, because their credit's going to be pulled multiple times. Mm -hmm. If you do it four four times, um, yes, it will be affected. If you pull it once, twice, three times, there's actually a law that has been put in place since 2008 um, that um, when when people didn't, you know, they were just stuck with mortgages because they didn't want their scores to be affected. Um, but when you pull a mortgage within the the 45 day time frame, you actually, if it's if it is for a mortgage, again, you actually won't get hit more than once for that pull. So it gives you an opportunity to shop. So always shop, always ask questions, always be informative and talk to your agent and um, get as much information as you can on this fun, awesome journey of, of home ownership. Thank you, Julie. So if you, so if you yourselves are out there and you want more information and you'd like Julie or myself to walk you through discount points or any other part of the home buying process, simply contact us. Our information will be in the description below. And if you want to make a booking, the information for an appointment will be there as well. Julie, thank you again for being here. Really appreciate it. If you liked what you hear, subscribe to our show. And I will see everybody next Monday. Thank you again, Julie. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.